We're at the Olympia in West Springfield. I'm with my good friend Bob Oliver. Bob, geez, what a, what a fancy fancy place to be meeting you here tonight. Great to see you here again, definitely. Uh, Bob Oliver, longtime front office employee for the Springfield Falcons, uh, now the chairman of the Bassone Awards Committee. Yeah. So, of course, you're going to be on site for the Western Mass Championships. Absolutely. Uh, one period here in the books, Green Wave on top 2 nothing. Have you had a chance to watch any of the game tonight, watched Bob? watched a little bit of it so far. I had a little run around to do uh, behind the scenes uh, so far. So I didn't get to watch as much as I wanted to, but, uh, you know, certainly... Uh, great competition. The kids are obviously pretty pumped and big game for, for everybody involved. So now tell us, uh, you know, a lot of us who are connected, for lack of a better term, uh, know how important the Besson Awards are to high school hockey in Western Massachusetts. Sure. Uh, can you tell the people who are watching a little bit that might not know what the Besson Awards are? Sure, absolutely. So Amo Betts Besson uh, grew up uh, on the Memorial Avenue section of West Springfield right across the street from the Coliseum in the, at the Big E grounds. And uh, he went on to uh, become a, a, a very important coach in the college ranks, went to Michigan State, coached uh, the Michigan State team to a national championship uh, back in, I think it was 1965 or 66. And uh, his friends and people in the, in the neighborhood there decided that they wanted to start uh, recognizing the kids from the area, uh, Western Mass area, more so in the Greater Springfield area at that time for playing high school hockey. So they created a Besson Award for the most outstanding high school hockey player uh, from Western Massachusetts. That started in 1966. So, you know, we're coming up on uh, 55, 56 years now. Some, some mileage there. We Some mileage is for, for sure. And uh, the committee or the group of us that volunteer uh, on this group, we've got about 10 of us uh, over the years. I've been with the, the organization for about 15 years now. Um, we've expanded the number of awards. We now give out 10 awards, various uh, positional play, team play, uh, different things like that, to both boys and girls. And uh, with that trophy comes along a $500 scholarship for each one of those awards. We're very proud of that. We want to make sure that we recognize kids throughout Western Massachusetts. And, uh, you know, it, it, we're very proud of uh, the type of awards that we give out. And it's not just the play on the ice. A lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, how, you, how some of the kids do outside of the rink, too, as well. Yeah, and uh, I, I believe the Green Wave have had the last two rookies of the year, possibly three. Yep. Um, and the, the excitement that is in the faces of those student athletes sure. when they realize not just that they win an award, but they're in the conversation for it. Exactly. Uh, that, that really speaks to how important these awards are for Western Mass High School hockey. You know, one of the things that we've done over, gosh, at least since I've been involved in many years prior to it, is these awards are presented at a banquet uh, at the end of the season. We get to have a speaker to come, make the presentations to all of the kids. But one of the things we started about three or four years ago was naming, um, uh, you know, contenders for each of the awards. And then we make the announcement at the banquet itself so that each of those awards may have three to five potential winners mm -hmm. that are associated with. So it builds up a little excitement, makes the kids feel, you know what, I may not have won, but I was nominated. Uh, which is a you know a feather in their cap, and we want to make sure that uh, as a committee, our our duty and role and is to basically just further high school hockey here in Western Massachusetts. Yeah, and uh, with the new Maya divisional setup this year, uh, the the Western Mass tournament almost became a casualty of it. Uh, unfortunately, yes, but uh, fortunately, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was. The uh, the the. Credit to the Pioneer Valley ADs that really put their heads together and figured out a way to continue it because, let's be honest, east of 495, it's a different brand of hockey. Very true. And Very true. For, for so many years, and uh, I'll go back to uh, 1980 when an Agawam goaltender played over at the Coliseum <laughs> in front of 5,200 people. Yeah. Um, you know, when you used to get a crowd like that for high school hockey, Bob, right. um, yeah. this crowd here tonight, is is a testament to how much this sport remains 
on the minds of the folks here in Western Massachusetts. Absolutely. I mean, we're fortunate to have a number of rinks around Western Massachusetts in good participation. I know it's been a struggle over the years sometimes with hockey just because of the cost of, of, of playing right. hockey. But, um, you know, organizations such as ourselves, you know, you've got uh, some great college teams in Western Mass with AIC and with certainly UMass. Um, and then you've got the pro ranks uh, with the Springfield uh, Thunderbirds, too, as well. So, I mean, we go from, you know, the mites all the way up to the pros right here in the 413. And, yeah. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that we carve out, our group carves out that niche here in the high school ranks and make sure that we, you know, recognize. But I do recall playing my high school games at the Coliseum. Absolutely. And uh, for those, you know, that are younger that don't even understand what that means, it's, uh, it, it's truly, truly was a, a memory uh, to play in front of a, oh my God. In the old barn there. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, before we wrap this up, yeah. do we have a date set for the banquet yet? And are we going to, are we hoping we return so, to normal this year? Well, unfortunately, we had to make a decision a few months ago okay. on whether or not we were going to go forward with a banquet. In obviously the last two years, we didn't have a banquet, but we did get a chance to get a high school, ho high, high school hockey season uh, completed, and we made, uh, and made an awards presentation. So we are going to do the same this year. Next year, we do plan on bringing back the banquet as it's, awesome. uh, as it's always been. Uh, but this year, April 28th, will be the date that we'll be making our trophy uh, presentations and okay. announcements. Uh, further you know, news and details on that will be coming forth here soon. But. Well, we'll be looking forward to that. And, of course, we'll update you on GreenWaveHockey.com for any of the latest Basson information. Bob Aller, my friend, I can't believe 10 minutes have gone by so quick. Absolutely. Thank Lou, you so much. Thank you so much for what you do here for high school hockey. Really appreciate it. Ah, my pleasure.